Amen. Glory to God. Make Amen. sure you play this on your website. Amen. Tony Harvard. Make sure you play this. Matthew chapter 14 and at verse 15. Parliament. What is it then? Hallelujah to God. What is it then? I will pray with the spirit. And I will pray with the understanding also. All right, let's deal with prayer. Prayer. Do we know how to pray? Mm. You remember that Jesus' disciples said, Lord, teach us Jesus. to pray. Prayer is when you utter to God from the sincerity of your heart, not only asking him for what you want, but thanking him for what you have. That's right. There is no incorrect usage of syllables or punctuation marks in the wrong place. That's right. You don't have to learn good grammar no. to talk to God. No. God ain't dumb. Amen. He's the only wise God. That's right. Some folks say, well, Lord, I don't want you to, I don't want to get my things wrong. Dear Lord, <laughs> I am so improper. <laughs> I'm at the wrong place. Just tell the Lord in good broken English, you ain't right. That's right. Lord, I ain't right. That's right. <laughs> Lord, I ain't right. You sure ain't. That's right. He, he understand it. Amen. <laughs> Dear Lord, I am inadequate. You ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you see these preachers getting their church trying to pray all proper, using all these big words. Oh, most wise and majestic heavenly father, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. For what? Amen. You need to Google everything he said to understand it. When you pray and talk to God, you're talking to one. That's right. And you talk to God from the sincerity of your heart. Yeah. And if you want God to do something for you when you pray, mm -hmm. you just don't get on your knees and start talking. That's right. There's a process. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? That's right. There's a process. Second Chronicles. Give me the book of Chronicles, son. Second Chronicles chapter 7. And at verse 14. I want everybody to follow me. Follow me. You brothers keep me up to date with the time because I got a church to go look at at 3 o'clock. And I want to let you go early enough so I can look at this building and we all come back this evening at 5. Mm -hmm. All right, real quick. Second Chronicles 7 and at verse 16. Mm -hmm. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves. Then what? And pray. Let's go to school. Prayer without humility. Yeah. It's no good. Amen. Now, you may think humility is when you get on your knees. You can be on your knees all day. Yeah. But if your heart is not humble, That's right. you just on your knees. That's it. Are you listening? That's right. True humility is the humility, the submission of the heart. That's why God wants a broken and a contrite heart, yeah. not a contrary heart. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. So a lot of times we are praying, but we're arrogant, self-righteous, exalted. Yeah. You've got to humble yourself if you want heavenly results. That's right. You don't go before God like you so much. No, no. Because you that thank you so much, God have a way of showing you we are nothing. nothing. Bear in mind, when you go before the Lord of creation, we ain't nothing but dust. He don't need us. We need him to eat. We need him to sleep. We need him to have a roof over our head. We need him for clothes on our back. God don't need us. Remember, God ain't had no trouble on the earth until he made man. That's right. All the beasts of the field, the fowls of the air, the insect, every animal do exactly what God made it to do. Yeah. The only stubborn, hard haired rebellious thing that God created is that dumb, ignorant, hell-bound man. Amen. 
Man is so rebellious when God designs something for his safety. He don't have sense enough to run after. Look at what God did in the days of Noah. He advised Noah to build an ark. Dumb man stayed out. Animals went in. That's right. Everybody in the world, glory to God, that will obey the message of Noah had a chance to get right and be delivered from the judgment of God. Yeah. All they had to do was obey the message that Noah was preaching. It's going to rain. Come on. But instead of coming in, the dumb fool stayed out. Amen. Animals went in. Yeah. And the ark was built for the safety of the people. Out of all the people in the world, only eight human beings were saved. What did that time represent? That time represent the way it's going to be when Jesus comes. It is written as it was. Glory to God in the days of Noah. So shall it be when the Son of Man comes. And Noah's day, they was married and given in marriage. When Jesus comes, they're going to be married, given in marriage, getting second wives, getting third husbands, living together, not married. You're going to be smoking and drinking. Man going to be marrying man. Woman going to be marrying woman. And a great noise going to blast through the heavens. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There's Jesus. Yeah. When the world look up, there's Jesus is there. That's right. You ain't gonna have time to redo nothing. Mm -hmm. Preacher ain't gonna have time to correct nothing. No. Because the boss is gonna come. Oh, yeah. When the boss come, everything that have not lined up 100% to the holy standard of God, yeah. you're gonna be judged. That's right. Huh? That's right. My God, man, I'm laboring to escape the judgment to come. Amen. That's why when the word of God is preached, sit in judgment on yourself. Amen. And whatever you're not up to, ask God to help you to come up to. It. That's right. All right, son. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray. Prayer is not before humility. Mm -hmm. Humility is before prayer. That's right. Then what? And seek my face. Humble yourself. Pray. Pray. Seek our faces. Seek my face. No, see the face of the Trinity. Seek my face. You're looking for too many faces. Yeah, that's right. Look at the way the Europeans have made Trinity. And they got it all in your church. Yeah. You see them in your church? Oh, yeah. They always make the father an old white man with a beard. Then they make the son a little blind hair, blue eye pudgy need baby <laughs> with blind hair with little curly locks. That's right. And they always make the Holy Ghost a white bird. White bird. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's no more Trinity than I'm many more and Jack. Amen. That's a, that's a bundle of trash for hell. That's right. The Europeans conjured that lie. Yeah. Thank God in the message that don't come from Europe but come from heaven mm -hmm. it'll blast that lie back to hell from which it come. Right. All right. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves. One. And pray. Then pray. And seek my face. Seek the face of one. And turn. Wait a minute. Turn from what? From their wicked ways. When you humble yourself and you're praying and you want something from God because you're seeking his face, what do I got to be doing? Turn from their wicked ways. You got to be making an effort to make a change. Turn. That's right. You don't humble yourself. Yeah. You're seeking the Lord. Lord. You're praying. Yeah. Now, I got to be doing something. Turn from their wicked ways. I may, not, I may not stop all my wrong overnight, but Lord, I'm making an effort. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Huh? Turn. I'm making an effort, Hallelujah. I said. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm turning. From their wicked ways. You got to turn. That's right. Oh, we take God, you got to turn. Hallelujah. And when I'm turned, I'm starting to lay aside slowly but surely every weight of sin. That's right. That do it so easily beset us so I can run this race with patience. Looking, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Looking at Jesus. That's right. Oh, we take God, the author and finisher of our faith. Amen. So when I'm turning from what? From their wicked ways. I got to turn from what? From their wicked ways. Amen.
while I'm turning, I, I, I'm going to lay down them cigarettes. Yeah, turning, turning. Turning from the beer bottle. Mm -hmm. Turning from the club. Right. Turning from partying. Turning from a man wearing the dress of a woman. Mm. Turning for a woman out here with pants hugging her body, advertising what God made her. That's right. I'm turning! From their wicked way. All right, California, God wants you to turn. turn. You can play church until Go Jesus ahead. comes. Go Glory to God. But you better turn! From their wicked turn. way. Turn! Turn, Rakaluga! Turn around, I say! Turn! Glory to God. Hallelujah! Everything got to turn. From their wicked ways. Everybody. Everybody. Hallelujah. Everybody. Hallelujah. 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 Everybody. That's it. Or it take turn. God. Or it take God. Hallelujah. You must turn. Turn from their wicked ways. Holy Ghost wants you to turn. Turn from their wicked ways. You got to turn from that second wife. That's right. Turn from that second husband. Hallelujah. Turn. Hallelujah. Turn from their Holy wicked God. ways. What is that? Turn from their wicked ways. You got to turn. Turn. Hallelujah. Turn. Hallelujah. That's why they love the false churches. Hallelujah. You ain't got to turn from nothing. That's right. When you turn, turn. You, are, you, are, you are lay down that earring. Yes, you will. You are turn from those fake fingernails. That's right. You are turn from that lipstick. That's right. You are turn from that fake hair. Yes. You are turn from all of it. Turn. Turn from their wicked ways. Bible said, turn from your wicked ways. Then what? Then will I hear from heaven. Then God will answer me. And will forgive their Hallelujah. sin. Huh? Amen. God will answer then me. Will Hallelujah. I hear from heaven. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory to take God in Hallelujah. He Hallelujah. Said, I'll hear from heaven. And will forgive their sin. God say, I'll forgive you. And will heal their land. Glory to take God. Hallelujah. 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 I'll heal you. I'll hear from heaven. Hallelujah. Take God to God to heal from heaven. And will forgive their sin. Uh, everything. Everything. Hallelujah. Got to turn. Turn from their wicked ways. The government of America got to turn. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Eh? Hallelujah. The whole state of turn, California turn from their got wicked to ways. turn. That's right. They got to turn from turn. same sex marriages. Yes. Huh? Hallelujah! Holy God! Go ahead, man! Must turn! Go ahead! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Shall turn! Turn from their wicked ways! Or oh, take God from their wicked ways! Then! Hallelujah. Hallelujah! He said, then! Then will I hear from heaven! Every preacher! Hallelujah! Must yeah. turn! Turn! Go ahead! Have to turn from the Baptist! Go ahead! Go turn ahead. from the non denominational! Hallelujah! Turn. turn from the Pentecostal! Go ahead, brother! Turn! From their wicked ways! Hallelujah! Take Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Hallelujah. What the Holy Ghost said. Turn from their wicked ways. Everything. Everything. Hallelujah. Turn from the United Pentecostal. That's right. Turn from the PAW. That's right. Turn from the so-called apostolic. Hallelujah. Turn. Turn. From their wicked ways. Hallelujah. God said if you turn, then what did he promise? Then will I hear from heaven. Then? Then. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He said, I'll hear from heaven. And Hallelujah. I will Glory forgive their sins. God said, then I'll forgive you. And will heal their land. And I'll heal your land. Now mine eyes shall be open. Now. Now. Now shall mine eyes be open. Shall my eyes be open. And mine ears attend. And my ears attend. Unto the prayer that is made in this place. Do you hear that? Hallelujah. 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 Take God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank the Lord. God said, Here, hear you. Hallelujah. And God said, Here, heal you. Hallelujah. Sacramento, California. God wants you to turn. Turn from their wicked ways. Hallelujah. Stop your gang banging, stop your drinking, stop your partying, stop your lying, stop your swearing. Hallelujah. Get away from the blood. Go ahead. Get away from the crypts. Go ahead, man. Get away from the gangster disciples. Go ahead, brother. Turn. Turn. Turn from their wicked ways. Get away from the MS-13. Hallelujah. Turn. Turn. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Go ahead. 
every gang banger must stand before God. That's right. Every religion on the earth must stand before God. That's right. You preachers that been leading the people wrong, Hallelujah. you must stand, stand before God. That's right. Glory to God. Glory to God. It's my people. It's my people. It's my people. Which are called by my Hallelujah. name. I God, which are called by my name. Shall humble Come themselves. On. Shall humble, hallelujah. humble themselves. Shall humble themselves. And pray. And pray. And seek my face. Or oh, thank God and seek my face. And turn from their wicked ways. Turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven. Don't you want God to hear you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then will I hear from heaven. And will forgive their sin. God say he'll forgive you. And will heal but their But if you land. want God to forgive you, you got to humble yourself. Humble themselves. Hallelujah. Don't go to God like you so big. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Your money don't impress God. Oh, no, no. Your house don't impress God. No, no. Your car don't impress God. Hallelujah. Your wife, your husband, your bank account. That don't impress God. No, no. When you die, nigga, you came here. That's right. Nigga, that's the way you're going. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Go ahead. Go ahead. If my people. Oh, it's a God. Hallelujah. Go back to the book of Corinthians, son. Back in 1 Corinthians 14. Everybody all right? Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah to God. 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 26. God is not impressed with what nobody has. Hallelujah. You ain't got more than him. No, no. He owned the world. Oh, yes. The Bible said the earth is the Lord's. That's right. And the fullness thereof. That's right. Eh? Oh, yes. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. You men out here fighting and killing and cussing. Think of it. You killed each other over a corner. Yeah. And neither one of you owned the corner. That's true. <laughs> That's right. You drug dealers. Go ahead. Go ahead. You'll kill someone's son. Yeah. But you forgot your Lord says you will reap what you sow. What you sow. What you sow. Here you kill someone's son. Yeah. And then God let someone kill your son. That's right. You gang rape someone's daughter. Go ahead. And then your daughter is gang raped. Yeah. Oh, yes. You will reap what you sow. Oh, yes. The whole world needs to repent today. Amen. Eh? Amen. The whole world repent. needs to repent. repent. That's right. Glory to God. Glory to God. That's right. Everything need to repent and get on God's side. Amen. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the Lord fill you with the Holy Ghost, which is the Holy Spirit. That's right. What did the Apostle Paul say in the book of Corinthians? Son? How is it then, brother? Give chapter and verse again. Back in 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 26. Let's finish up praying with the Spirit. Back in 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 15. Listen. What is it then? What is it then? I will pray with the Spirit. Pray with the Spirit. Now, let's give a broader understanding of what Spirit means. Spirit means. Spirit is not only the nature of God, right. for the Bible said God is a spirit. Spirit is the nature of God, and spirit is the speech of God. That's right. For Jesus said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, and they are life. So the Bible says what? What is it then I will pray with the spirit? I have to pray with the spirit. So that means when I say anything to God, I must pray with, with the Spirit. That mm -hmm. means anything that come out of my mouth must agree with what God said. That's right. I cannot ask God for something that contradicts the word. Yeah. Ain't no need for me to think God done sent me a second wife and my first wife is still living. No. God ain't sent no one to help me to commit adultery. That's right. Eh? That's right. Thank God I have to pray with, with, with the spirit the spirit and and i will pray with the understanding also i got to understand what i'm asking for that's right what else i will sing with the spirit i will sing 
who have the spirit, they, the lyrics of my song yeah. must be according to the word of God. That's right. Eh? That's right. I can sing a lie. That's like I can tell one. Yeah. I have to sing with the spirit. And, and I will sing with the understanding also. I got to understand and make sure my lyrics don't contradict the word of God. Amen. For years, they sung lies, just like they told them. Yeah. This little light of mine. That's an insult to God. That's God nice. ain't no little light. No. God said he's the light of the world. That's right. <laughs> and That's right. Light of the world. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're getting what I'm telling you. So you must evaluate the lyrics of your song and make sure it don't contradict yeah. what's written in the book of scriptures. That's right. All right. I will sing with the spirit. Sing with the spirit. And I will sing with the understanding. And also. I must have an understanding. All right, let's go back to where we were so we can knock off. Back in First Corinthians. Everybody 14. all right? Listen. Back in First Corinthians 14 and verse 26. Uh -huh. How is it then, brother? How is it then, brother? When ye come together. Amen. All the preachers in Sacramento, they need to get on board the truth of God train. Oh, yes. Amen. All of them, they claim they believe in the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ and claim you believe in the Holy Ghost. How in the world you got so much new birth and then you want to walk with part of the word? Yeah, part of it. Eh? Bible said put on the full armor of God. Armor. You don't find a man going out to war with a rifle in his drawers. <laughs> Amen. Eh? Amen. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Oh. It's time to go to battle you out there in your boxes and a rifle. Amen. Man, the enemy may look at you and laugh. He may give not even shoot you. <laughs> Glory to God, what did he say? How is it then, brethren, when you come together? When you come together. Every one of you hath a song. Amen. That's why I'm compelled. You pray for your brother, Pastor Jennings, because I have a calling on me that God put on me. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't do like a lot of fellas claim they did, got on their knees and begged God to give them the word. I never did that. Mm -hmm. Amen. The God of heaven appeared to me many years ago and made me a preacher. Never been to Bible school in my life. God revealed himself to me. That's right. Opened up my understanding to the word of God and sent me to preach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sent me to preach to the world. Yes. Gave me a gospel. Then gave me an understanding of the gospel. Yeah. Amen. And took every drop of fear I ever had mm -hmm. out. And I only fear God and God only. Amen. And I'm encouraging every man. Every woman. I'm warning by God's help. Every man and every woman, come over here with God. That's right. Come on and walk with God's word. Right. Praying in the spirit don't mean every time you pray, you in tongues or you shake it. No. You understand? That's right. Give me the book of Corinthians. Now in 1 Corinthians chapter 14. I want to explain what do praying in the spirit mean. First Corinthians. A lot of people think praying in the spirit mm -hmm. is just when you're down there praying and the Lord deal with you. Hakalaba shata rumba 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 rumba. Or you're praying in the spirit and you're about to go through the floor. Uh-uh, <laughs> no. All right. That's wonderful. Glad for the move. <laughs> but let me enlarge That's right. on the meaning of spirit. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 15. Listen. What is it then? What is it then? I will pray with the spirit. I will pray with the spirit. And I will pray with the understanding also. I remember also. Jesus said the words that I speak unto you, what are they? They are spirit. They are what? Spirit. All right. Now the Bible says I will pray with the spirit and I will pray with the understanding. Let's go to school. Now, if Jesus said the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, the words. So when I pray the words that I utter, the words that I utter cannot contradict what the spirit say in the book. That's right. I cannot ask God for anything that violate the book. That's right. I cannot desire nothing that violate the book. Right. I can't make a request that contradict the book. That's right. And no need for me to pray and I'm arrogant and high-minded and self-will. The Bible said if my people which are called by my name will humble, humble themselves, themselves, then pray. Thank I got you. to humble, then ask. That's it. And when I'm humble, then ask, I still can't ask outside of God's will. That's right. What is it then? I, what is it then? I will pray with the Spirit. I, I got to pray with the Spirit. So my words got to coincide with the words of the Lord. That's right. And, and I will pray with the understanding also. Know what you're asking for. Amen. Good teaching, brother. Sometimes what we ask for, we can't handle. That's true. That's true. Pray with understanding. Unders Amen. Oh, Lord, I want a wife. What kind? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Lord. 
Lord, I want a husband. You got him. Now you don't want him. Hey, now you don't want him. <laughs> Amen. Lord, my wife left me. Bring her back. When she come back, Lord, send her away from here. Amen. Pray with understanding. The understanding. Understanding. This is how important or how sincere you should be about your salvation. Mm -hmm. Whatever you ask God for, if that thing will cause you to be lost, tell God, don't give it to you. That's right. That's right. Put your soul as the top priority. Amen. Make that more important mm -hmm. than anything you want in life. That's right. You can have the man, you can have the house, you can have cars, you can have money. Yeah. So, yeah. none of those things will save you. All those things will perish. That's right. That's and right. this is what's distracting people. People brag, oh man, I own my house. Nobody in here own their house, even if it's paid off. Amen. You can't prove that, Pastor Jennings. Wait till you die. Wait till you die. And see, can you take it with you? That's right. That's right. You get all crazy about them, that chinchilla your husband stole for you. <laughs> get down about your fur coat because you got a dead calf on your back. Right. Or a rodent for a pocketbook. A rodent. Huh? That's right. I don't care nothing about that mess. No. Got on your alligator, crocodile shoes, fine. Go ahead. You can have on a whole snakeskin suit and slither all through the church. But remember, you better shed that evil. That's right. <laughs> yeah? That's right. Go ahead, and take the Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles chapter 7. Chapter verse 7. 14. Verse 14. If my people. If my people. Which are called by my name. Which are called by my name shall humble themselves hold it Amen. then what and pray right there how many of us here pray raise your hand everybody in here pray now have you thought that there's something you must do before you say those prayers No prayer. Mm -hmm. And I want everyone to listen good. Yes, you that are watching around the world, you get this. Yes. There is no prayer that's of any value mm -hmm. without humility first. Amen. Amen. You have to be humble, humble. first. That's right. Pay close attention. To what he just read. If my people which this is Second Chronicles, chapter seven, the seventh chapter, and verse fourteen, and verse fourteen. If my people which are if called, my people which are called by, by my, my name, name shall humble themselves, then what's after uh, humility and pray? But what's first? Humble themselves. Then what? And pray. In other words, God don't want you to talk to Him until you humble, humble. yourself. That's what right. do you mean? Before you talk to Him, God wants you to agree to submit to Him. Right. Amen. Now, right. humility. humility. We get on our knees. But that don't mean we're humble. Right. It has a humble appearance. I could be on my knees, but I'm self-righteous, arrogant, stubborn, high-minded within my heart yeah. now do you understand yeah. humility is bigger than falling on your knees that's right that's right well, wait a minute pastor Jenna. the bible said every knee shall bow every tongue shall confess you think that means literally your legs mm. if it meant that how can a person kneel who don't have no legs right. true kneeling is the submission and the humility of the heart. Of the heart. That's right. That's right. That's right. If my people which are called by my name. Shall humble themselves. Now. Humble. So all of us in here. 
Pray sometime. That's right. That's right. Ask yourself, is it out of ritual? Is it habit? Or are you doing it because mom and pop taught you to do it? Right. Humility must be first. first. Prayer after. That's right. Humility first. Prayer after. Because when we start doing things just as a form of ritual, there's no significant meaning behind it with sincerity. That's right. We just do it, just to do it a formality. Amen. But if I'm humble in my approach towards my Lord, if I'm humble, you know, you throw a gun in someone's face, it humbles them. What is it about the gun that humbles you? The power of it. Now look at God, maker of heaven and earth. He controls the breath in your nostrils. Yeah. The giver of food on your table. That's right. The supplier of all need and the sustainer of all worlds. Yeah. There's nothing about him that we can afford to do without. That's right. That's right. Everything about him you need. Amen. My young brother's in the hood with your pants hanging down, strolling out there in the street. You think you're good with your hands? <laughs> then God stroke you. <laughs> you're only 17. He take your punching momentum away. That's right. The mouth that you used to cuss out women that's old enough to be your mother, he twists your jaw. Amen. Am I right? You are too arrogant and too disrespectful towards God. You young sisters. Who love to switch your goods. Lord. So everybody can bump their horn at you. Yeah. You young girls in school. Who's constantly pushed up against lockers. You think it's cute. To wear pants smaller than your body. Mm. To wear a blouse is smaller than your body. That's right. That's right. So when you live to get compliments for men, from men, what's going to happen to you when you don't get none? Yeah. Our whole life supposed to revolve around God. When you come to the realization what you was made for, God said, I made you for my glory. God didn't make you to strip for men. God didn't make you do lap dances for men. God didn't make you to be a bad mattress for men. God didn't make you to advertise your body for men. God didn't make you to use women, men. Talk to me. You will never get a man to respect a woman until you give that man to truly respect God. Amen. You will never get a woman to respect herself until she first respect God. Amen. Because when you respect God, you have the knowledge of what you was made for. You was made for God's glory. When you realize you was made for God's glory, you will feel a sense of loyalty and commitment to your creator. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. If my people, which are called by my name, will shall, uh, shall humble, themselves humble themselves and, and pray and pray and what else and seek my face. Look at the steps: humility, prayer, pray. seek my face, seek my face, humility, prayer, seek my face. That's right. If you want results of your prayer, humble yourself. Humble themselves. Amen. 
That's right. That's why the disciples said to Jesus, teach us how to pray. That's right. Teach us how to do it. Yeah. Are you listening? What is prayer, Pastor Dennis? What kind of words should I use? Sincere. When you truly talk to God, there is no proper or improper punctuation marks. That's not the time you talk to God like you got a college degree. He's not impressed. Have you seen preachers? We're going to ask Reverend Lucifer to lead us in prayer. Most wise and omnipotent, awesome heavenly father that have created the solar ubiquitous illuminary up in the heavens. The God of the Milky Way, the God of Saturn. Oh, great God. I don't have the supercalifragilistic and the espialidocious. And I know they say. So when we hear these pulpit entertainers, we say, oh, man. I wish I can pray like that. He ain't praying. And for a pretense, make long Listen prayer. at the Bible. Follow me in your Bible. Now in the book of St. Mark chapter 12 and at verse 40. Mark 12 and 40 says. Which devour widows' houses. They devour widow houses. And for a pretense. And they pretend. Make long prayers. Mm -hmm. They faking. Faking it. If I talk to God and talk to her from the heart. Yeah. I don't care how broken my grandma is. Lord, I ain't right. Do you understand? Not, not, not. Dear Lord, I'm, I'm so improper. I am out of my comfort zone, dear Lord. No, I ain't right. God help me. I'm wicked. That's right. I got problems, Lord. In other words, when you talk to God, be yourself, but be humble. Be humble. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Be humble and talk to God from the sincerity of here. Yeah. You men don't be so caught up in your manhood that you're scared to cry if need be. Sometimes you're so full. Words don't come out. You get on your knees with the intent to talk to God. Nothing come out your mouth. Tears. Hallelujah. Scream down from Hallelujah on your face. Your manhood have nothing to do with it. That's right. You gotta surrender your manhood. That's right. That's why Jesus said, unless you come as one of these children, That's right. get rid of your manhood. Amen. Get rid of your womanhood. Amen. Humble yourself Amen. and come before God. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't go with God. Hallelujah. Huh? Get rid of your manhood. That's it. Right, right. You're not a real man, no way. Until you obey God. That's right. It ain't a real man in this building until you obey God. That's right. You ain't a real woman at all until you obey God. That's right. I cried until well, you Well, Pastor Jennings, Go ahead. what do you say about beauty? What is your definition of beauty? Your skin? Your hair? Your shape? You want to know what's beautiful? When you're holy. That's right. That's right. Yeah. All right, next question. Uh, I know we got to be obedient about the hair covering, but I'm kind of confused about the hair covering. All right, 11 chapter, 1 Corinthians, if you will. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, we'll start at verse 1. All right. Be followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. Yes. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things. Yes. And keep the ordinances. As I delivered them to you. All right. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. The Bible says the head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman the is the man. the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. Yeah. Every man praying or prophesying. Every having his, his man covered. praying or prophesying. 
Having, having his head covered. His head covered. Dishonoreth his head. You see the Muslims and many of the Jews praying with their head covered. covered. They be at the wall. When you pray with your head covered, brother, how do God take it? Dishonoreth his head. You dishonor God. That's right. Dishonor. All right. But every woman. Uh oh. But every woman. Every woman. That prays or prophesies with her head. You pray or prophesy or was dealing with worship, mm -hmm. and you got your head uncovered. Uncovered. Dishonoreth her head. And remember, the Bible said the head of every woman is the man. Mm -hmm. Now let's get this, this the verse where preachers have made a mess mm -hmm. about covering. Come on, son. Bible said your hair is your covering. covering. Let's read that. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 at verse 15. All right. But if a woman have long hair. Now I want to show you this real good because dumb preachers, ignorant, deceive of their close relative, the devil. Yeah. Have told women you ain't got to have nothing on your head because of this scripture. Yeah. Listen. But if a woman have long hair, if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her. Why? For her hair is given her for a covering. A covering, but it didn't say a cover. No. Covering. Covering. And covered is two different things. That's right. If me and some brothers is working in here and we lay in carpet. And you say, hey, Pastor Jenny, what y'all doing? I'm covering the floor. That's right. That means it's incomplete. And I say, sis, come on back in 30 minutes. And you come back and say, oh, the floor is covered, complete. That's right. When you got a daughter, it's cold outside, wintertime. Mama want to go out there and play. Girl, cover your head. It's cold out there. You ain't tell her put hair on. No. Her hair is a covering. Ring. But you told her put something on her covering because she's bareheaded, yet she has hair. That's right. Her hair is a covering, but her covering is uncovered, so the woman must cover her covering. That's right. Go ahead, the dumb preachers. Preacher tell her, women, you ain't got to cover your head. That's a dumb preacher. Mm. The Bible speaks plain. For if her, she pray or prophesy with, her head, with her head uncovered, dishonor with her head. You think Paul was going around telling women put hair on? Mm. No, Walgreen and CVS is doing that for you. That's right. Your hair is a covering. covering. But when you wish up God, you cover the covering. That's right. Because when you cover, that shows honor That's right. to men on earth, and it shows respect to the angels in heaven. For this cause, give chapter and verse. First Corinthians chapter eleven and at verse ten. For this reason, ought the woman to have power on her head. For what reason? Because of the angels, brother. When that woman got her head covered, it shows respect to the angels right. because the angels bear the shape of man. That's right. And that's why the Bible said the head of every woman is the man. So yes, your hair is a covering, but covering mean incomplete. So when we finish covering this floor, then the floor will be covered. Right. You are born with a covering, but your covering is bare. Right. That's why you must cover the covering. That's right. For if the woman be not covered, if the, the Bible speak plain, First Corinthians chapter 11 and at verse 6, if the woman do not be covered, be covered, let her also be shorn. Let her also be shorn. And if it be a shame, if it be a shame, for a woman to be shorn or shaven, then what? Let her be covered. Covered and covering. Those two words the preachers overlook. All right, come on, Gary. Let's have it. Oh, this one says, I am just writing you this mail to let you know that I like the work you are doing for God. Thank you kindly. And I try to listen to your program every Sunday morning before I go to church. Mm -hmm. I have been a child of God for the past five years. I know that I am not doing all that I should do, should be doing for God. I sometimes find that I cannot even pray, but I know that 
I know at times he listens to my heart. Could you give me some advice on how to pray? Oh, yes. The disciples asked the Messiah, mm -hmm. Lord, teach us to pray. Now, Pastor Paul, a man born in Tarsus in the city of Cilicia, came out of the first tribe that gave Israel a king, the tribe of Benjamin, which made Brother Paul a Benjamite. That's right. Paul was made an apostle. Mm -hmm. God sent, God taught, God anointed, God struck, God made, God authorized. Mm -hmm. And the apostle Paul taught the church in Corinth. 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Listen at this. And at verse 15. All right. What is it then? What is it then? I will pray with the spirit. And? And I will pray with the understanding also. Holy. All right. Let's break this down. Break that down. I will pray with the spirit. For years, preachers have misinterpreted that. And they said the book says, I will pray in the spirit. It didn't say that. No. It says, I will pray with the with, spirit. With, 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 mm -hmm. with the spirit. How can I pray with, with the, spirit. the spirit? And the book says, God is the spirit. So, pray with the spirit. Pray with God. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. How can I pray with God? Hmm. Praying with the spirit, Jesus says... The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So if I pray with the spirit, that means all the words that I utter to the Lord. None of the words that I use is in contradiction That's right. of the words of God. That's right. In other words, I don't pray out of God's will. Mm -hmm. For example, I'm married. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's no need for me to see some other fine woman mm. no. and then drop down on my knees oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. looking up to the most high mm -hmm. and begging him Lord give me this woman That's right. that she may be my wife That's right. God is not going to break the scriptures no way. to give you what you want no no, no. Are you listening? That's oh, right. Yeah. Because if the book says you're bound by the law as long as you live, mm -hmm. God ain't going to give you a second wife mm -hmm. while your first wife is living. And then somebody lies and say, well, God gave it to me. No, God ain't going to break the scriptures for nobody. No. He asked. No. God will not. Well, someone said, Pastor Jennings, I got my second wife. Yeah, you got it on your own. On your own. Why mm -hmm. you think the book tell you you're living in adultery? That's, That's right. right. That's if having a second wife was of God, God wouldn't tell you you're living in adultery. That's yeah. right. Are you listening? James chapter 4 and verse 3. Pray with the Spirit, pray. then we get James. Then okay. he says, pray. With the understanding also. What do I got to understand? I got to understand what the scripture says about what I'm asking God about. Yes, That's sir. right. That's now, right. artificial prayer. That's right. Artificial prayer is the teaching that the preachers have for the public today. This touch and claim garbage. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you know Jamaica? What's your preacher do? Mm -hmm. Your preacher come tell you, well, if you really want it from God, touch it and claim it. The scriptures ain't never taught, taught you to touch and claim nothing. Nothing, no. Liar. That's right. Yes. <laughs> touch and claim it. The scripture just says, he that believeth, he that cometh to God must, must believe, believe that he is. A rewarder to them that diligently seek him. Mm -hmm. I can have faith and believe God for something. But I'm not going to claim what's not mine. No. Scripture, they never tell me to touch and claim anything. That's right. I may drive up in my car. You can touch it all you want <laughs> and claim it. That's right. As long as I got the keys, I'm driving away with it. Yes. That's right. And I will leave you standing in touching position yes. and claiming position. That's yeah. right. That touch and claim with a bundle of trash from hell. What just is to it? to deceive the ignorant. Amen. Listen that, Brother Paul. What is it then? What is it then? I will pray with the Spirit. With the Spirit. And I will pray with the understanding You got also. to have some understanding. That's right. If you have understanding, you won't go around repeating what everybody else said. Amen. And this is what is happening in the churches. You don't, many don't have understanding. So therefore, the moment the preachers say, church, stand up, church, mm -hmm. and claim your healing right now. Mm -hmm. Claim it. All right, just a minute. Mm -hmm. Preacher, I tell you. <coughs> Here you got a bad back and your back is hurting. Mm -hmm. Preacher come tell you, you don't have to claim that bad back. Oh, that part is true. You, ain't, you don't have to claim it because your bad back is going to claim you. Mm -hmm. Amen. 
You don't have to claim it. It's going to claim you. That's right. The preacher said, well, don't claim it. You are healed already. You are healed already. Mm -hmm. Listen, if you are healed, whenever God healed anybody, Amen. you no longer have that problem anymore. That's, that's right. right. That's it. That's, that's the truth of it. That's, that's right. right. You can claim the healing all you want. If you still got that problem, you are not healed. So stop lying to yourself. Yes. Amen. That's true. I injured my back maybe about 16, 17 years ago. I ain't claiming nothing. No. I'm not healed. No, no. See, the problem with people, there sometimes they're not healed. They just feel better that day. Yeah. That's right. And because they feel better, they say, well, you know, I'm healed. The next thing you know, the weather changed. <laughs> And then that pain reminds you, here I am. Yeah. Amen. It's like some days my back is fine. That's right. One day I picked my son up when he was a baby and my back went and my legs went and I hit the floor. Mm -hmm. Well, I wasn't healed. Yeah. I'm not healed now. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, some days I feel better, but I'm not healed. Right. I'm still waiting on it. That's right. Someone said, well, that means you ain't have faith. Well, it don't mean that at all. That's God right. will heal me when he chooses to. That's yes. right. And if he don't do it, I still know he's able. I'm not right. going to claim it. That's, That's right. right. That's true. I'm not going to claim nothing. That's Amen. true, sir. That's just the truth of That's it. True. Amen. It's like a lot of uh, people, preachers lay hands on them and pray for them, and the preacher tell you he's a healer. Hmm. He's a liar. There's not a man living is a healer. That's the right. only healer is God. That's right. A person can lay hands on you, pray for you, yell up. Listen, churchgoers, let me explain something to you. Mm -hmm. This is not necessary. Mm -hmm. You go into some church and the preacher lay hands on you, mm -hmm. yelling to you about to go death. <laughs> That's right. Oh, in the name of I said. Are you, you all right? <laughs> that's, now, right. that's right. That's right. You may end up hurting more. Yeah. Amen. By the time that little jackrabbit is done with you. That's right. Sir. That's right. All you got to do is read the scriptures. That's right. See how the apostles did it. See how they agreed. They didn't go around slapping you, kicking you, beating you, fussing with you, arguing with you, gang banging you. No, no. No. No, no. Mm. Me yelling in your head is not going to make the devil come out any quicker. No, it no. won't. Me yelling in your head is not going to heal you any faster. Mm -hmm. So I can pray for you. Mm -hmm. But if God don't heal you, don't get upset with me. That's right. That's true. I have prayed for many people. God have healed them of cancer. God have healed them of all type of internal bleeding. God have even opened the deaf ear. Amen. We prayed for people. I have been sick and prayed for people and asked God to heal me. He went right by me and healed the person I was praying for. Amen. <laughs> Left me standing there sick while I'm praying for somebody else. That's right. Heal them. Just leave me sick and heals me later. Amen. So uh, that touching claim is nothing but a myth. So when you want to learn how to pray, mm -hmm. don't worry about trying to repeat what somebody else say. No. Because who say they, who's to say they are correct in the words they use? That's right. Tony Harvin. He loved this program. Thank God. He, he, he fills this program up on his website. And points the people to the truth of God.